Hello YouTubers, so this is a how-to video on how to wire a Valcom V1080 paging flex horn or a paging horn. I know these are known as flex horns because they're very slim. And this is self-amplified, not the 1090 like, like the other models. So now, in terms of audio cables, I'm just going to be using a 3.5mm auxiliary cable for this application. When you chop off one end, you should get greeted with these wires. There's a black wire right here. Or not black, this is ground. Bare copper wire. Some might be black, some will be green. But a lot of times they'll be bare just like this. This is ground. And then you should have a white wire and a red wire. You want to take the red and the white and twist them together. So it's, because you want to combine your stereo channels into one. For this device here, you want both stereo channels to come through this. This is what you should see. Now you may come across a cable like this. You also, want for this one, you want to twist your red and the white together. But also you want to twist your two copper bare wires together like this. Separate and separate, but you know, combine them into one. Now, if you chop an end of a cable off and you get greeted with this kind of wire, take this, throw in the garbage. Those are crappy cables. They are prone to shorting. No good for this application. And for my power source here, I'm just gonna use this bench power supply. I have a set at 24 volts and I have a set at 250 milliamps because these don't really these really don't take much. Maybe at the most, these might take 50 milliamps when they're very when they're set to max. Now this wire here has already been pre-wired from factory. Not by me, by factory. This original to this horn. So but also Velcon's real nice, and they give you this diagram here. I don't know if you can see it. This camera will focus, but what I see here, red is my tip, so this is tip, red is my ring. My white wire is, the white wire is my minus 24 volts. Hope I get off the screen too much. Here's, this is my minus 24, and this is my GND, which is my positive 24 volts. So, I'm going to start with the power here. So I'm going to wire this black wire here to the white as my minus 24 volts. I'm going to wire this red to this black. I know it's a little weird, but that's how Valcom did it. And it's pretty common across all their other horns. They're very into horns out there. At least the self-amplified ones. This green is my tip. I'll give it this green cable. And this ring will, this red wire, which is my ring, will be yellow. Like so. And I'll put this down like that. And now, let's wire this 3.5 mil cable up. So, yeah, this yellow is my ring. This will go to this bare copper wire of the 3.5 mil jack. And then my two combined stereo channels here, this will be my tip. And where, where I'm getting tip and ring is coming from this jack here. This top here, I usually, that's your positive generally. That's usually, that's usually the tip I refer to from this to here. And then the ring is this last jack or this last connector down here, which is usually ground. So now... This is all connected. I should be able to fire on this power supply. You should hear a pop. Yep, I got a pop. So now I should be able to connect it to my computer. So just is my audio source. And there we go. Probably turn that down a little bit. And now here we go.
So yeah, in terms of the volume, you want to take a flathead screwdriver, a very small flathead. This is your volume controller here, and you can adjust it wherever you need to adjust it. So yeah, this is how you wire a Valcom V1080 self-amplified paging horn, or known as the flex horn, for personal use. Here's your wire right here that you would want to use. It could be either just basic four conductor telephone cable, or you could use a Cat5 cable, which you could pick up real easily at your local Home Depot or Lowe's. If you're gonna use go with the Cat5 route, you only need, only need to use two pairs. So you don't have to use all eight of them for this, because this is a four wire device. I'm just going basic with this because that's what I have, and I don't have to waste Cat5 wire in the process.